Okay, today we're going to be going over how to add a menu item in the Joomla Content Management System. Uh, as I said before in the last tutorial, if you are not familiar with Joomla, you should make yourself familiar with Joomla. It's a great tool. Um, it's a good middle-of-the-road tool for content development, somewhere between WordPress and Drupal. It's not quite as extensible as Drupal, um, you know, but it's not as limited as WordPress. It's, it's definitely a good uh, middle-of-the-road uh, content management system. Um, if you're going to go in here to your panel, this is assuming that you have already logged in, you're in your administrative panel, um, you went ahead and created a, uh, you know, an article in Joomla, and now you're wanting to actually link it. You want to link that article to a menu item. How do you do that? Okay, for that, you're going to go up here to your menu item, um, and in the drop down, you'll see main menu. That's usually going to be your default menu. Just about every single Joomla menu uh, for the main menu is named main menu by default. So it's pretty simple. And you'll see right here, just as uh, we did before with the article, you select new. Um, and, and now you'll see basically articles, contacts, news feeds, polls. And what these are, are what type of menu are you trying to make? Are you trying to make a, a contact form? Are you trying to make a news feed? Are you trying to make uh, you know, a poll, a search page basically where people can go and search? A uh, user, maybe a user uh, profile link for the user menu, web links, a uh, wrapper, maybe you want to link a, another website inside, uh, inside a wrapper to, you know, from your site so they don't have to leave your page. Uh, this, this is what they're all for. Now this tutorial is based off of you know, you just wanting to add a singular article, a page, you know, maybe an about us or, you know, something of this nature. Um, and you want to link that to a menu item. Um, you're going to click on articles and you'll see article archive list, article layout, article submission layout, category blog layout, category list, front page section blog layout and section layout and these are all useful for different types of views of the content if you're trying to um, for example um, as I said in the previous tutorial if you're actually trying to display a bunch of articles in a particular section that all are assigned you know as different categories and you want this type of view with maybe a separator or divider between each respective um, you know, article, then that's what a, a section layout may be good for, you know, or a blog view. Um, but we're not going to really worry about that. We're assuming that you just want to create a singular article uh, with a menu link to it. So for that, you're going to select article layout. The article layout displays a single article. Now you'll click on that and you'll see here title, alias, um, and those are important you want to actually name your article about and you're going to name the alias and this is actually important because if you have search engine friendly URLs turned on that's actually going to be what the page is called so it'll be your domain dot com forward slash about um, and then over here in your basic parameters you're going to select the article now if you had created that article earlier as you remember we called it particle Go all the way down to the bottom. You, you'll have to look for the article you created. If you've got a lot of demo content, it can be hard to find. Uh, but we'll select that. And as I said before uh, in the previous tutorial, um, your parameters for the component, how this actual, you know, everything linked to this menu item will look. And this could be important if you're linking to sections or different categories or whatever. But this is just going to be a singular view. Uh, you will need to configure um, you know, your global configurations if you just want to set a standard view for all your content. Um, so down here in your parameter system, you're going to actually name the page about. And I usually choose not to show the page title within the content because um, it's, it's just duplicate. A lot of the times you already have the name for the title. So once you've done that, you're going to click Save. And now you'll scroll over and you'll see that that's been created. You 
click on that page and there it is.